Hello, it's uh, Sunday the 29th of September 2019, northwest of England, and uh, the reason that you've not seen too much of me over the last couple of weeks is what you can hear and what you can see around me. Uh, that's been the story, in fact I'll show you outside now. This is the weather we've been experiencing probably for coming up for two weeks. And before that, we've had some breaks in the weather, but the standard state of play has been absolute torrential rain. Just rain, 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 and more rain. Um, the nights are drawing in as well, so it's getting dark around 7, 7.30. I'm only getting back from work about 7, 7.30. So in the week, it's difficult for the working gardener or the working allotment here. I'm sure I'm not the only one at this time of year, this year, uh, that's been experiencing trouble. Trouble getting down. Because it's no fun when you're coming down here and the weather's like this. You can't get anything done. He's stuck, really. Um, you can't get any real planting done at the moment. Um, you can't get much in the way of harvesting done. Everything's getting sodden. I'm, I've come down, forced myself really today to come down in this to deal with the potatoes that we've got in buckets, the Christmas potatoes, because they're still outside and they need to get inside. Can't leave them out in this. They'll just go, go bad. They'll rot off. Too much rain. And no respite from it. Uh, and it's getting cooler now, so I'm going to get the potato buckets inside the greenhouse. I'm going to collect some grapes, hopefully. Get all them grapes out. And uh, just take a general look, because I've only been down probably in the last 10 days. I've been down once, and that's not me, as you know. It's usually all the time, or as much as we possibly can. But this is, this is as much as we possibly can. The weather is ridiculous at the moment so uh, enough about me in the car let's see me on the plots see you in a bit right so there's a little bit of a lull in the rain just now um, I've looked at the two plots it's not fantastic I didn't think it would be everything's just gone it's just flown up into seed the majority of it um, but we've got Brussels sprouts we've got some courgettes left on there's uh, spaghetti squash cabbages are still coming along okay there's um, there's millions of slugs about but there's no cabbage white butterflies anymore and there's no uh, as I can tell there aren't any white fly so that's um, that's kind of a bonus the onions are looking good, the shallots are looking good, the leeks are coming on, the kale's looking okay. It's a little bit shot at, but it's looking okay. I'll show you in a second, like, obviously. Um, but, yeah, the Christmas potatoes, the Maris Piper, or sorry, Maris Pier, is looking okay. But I'll show you the others. <laughs> so there's three pumpkins that we've got left. And they're ready for harvesting, so uh, they're going to be used for Halloween, I think. We've got a couple of pumpkins we saved the seeds from that we took out of this bed, which is the bed where the pumpkins and the sweet corn was. Pulled all the old sweet corn out there. Attempted some weeding, as you can see, but, mate, it's going to be a right good job doing the weeding on this. That's, uh, that's looking all right, though, isn't it? That rhubarb chard. So there's still bits and bobs knocking around. There's a big old um, beetroot there as well. And we've still got some uh, raspberries on. So I'm going to take them as well tonight, what we've got left of those. And uh, just see how we get on. But as you can see, it's not looking at its best at all. Two weeks of not really doing much on here has, um, has not done me any favours. Not done us any favours, that... And also, as I say, it's just done nothing but rain. Everything's really, really waterlogged. And I put 
plans in place in the summer for getting decent drainage in here so they shouldn't look like that it's just that it's been constant constant heavy rain and uh, when you get to that stage where it's just no let up in the rain you've uh, your few options really but to just put up with it still a lot of weed and stuff to be done there's a couple there's some cabbages that we've got in over there they're looking all right not too bad there's a couple of uh, raggedy ones in there but um i've said they've got six or seven different uh, decent cabbages that spaghetti squash is over there there's the spaghetti squash all the foliage gone off it now so they're going to be taken what we can salvage from there and there's a couple of courgettes that are still still on this courgette plant that we took the giant courgette off so they're all right and take them can't we all the blueberries are gone, totally gone now. Inside Bradley's cage, it's uh, it's a wild old jungle, but we've got the celeriac in here and the Brussels sprouts. Now, I'm trying to see if I can get you a photo of the Brussels sprouts because we've got Brussels sprouts on them. There are Brussels sprouts on these. Ah, when I said there's no white fly, I was telling lies, weren't I, obviously? Because there they all are, the little shits. So they're going to be, uh, the Brussels are going to have to be harvested and frozen up, methinks, boys and girls. I've put the Maris pier in here because they've been left outside for too long. In this weather, it's, good, it's, it's not good for them at all. They're getting logged up. The uh, the other varieties, which were the Charlotte and um, bear with us a second, Pentland Javelin, they've not made the cut. Nor have the Charlotte, which is a shame, isn't it? That's the amaranth stuff. Christ knows what I'm going to do with that, but it grew, it grew, didn't it? The South American Aztec Amaranth. But those are leeks that I put in about three weeks ago. And uh, they're coming along okay. As I say, loads of weeding needs doing. Um, so there's the kale as well. The kale's looking a bit shot at. The curly kale's not looking as bad as the, the Nero kale. Onions are looking all right. In fact, onions are probably ready for being taken. There's green ones then. And there's shallots and one, one coming out really as well. Such a shame I've not been able to get down, you know. It's really cheesed me, cheesed me off that, that the weather's been so bad and work's just been, uh, as usual, long and arduous and crap. Um, <laughs> it's better if you're... Uh, if you're able to spend a lot more time down here, if you were retired or semi-retired or, or I won the lottery, I'm trying to win the lottery at the moment, but it's very difficult. The one in 14.7 million chance of winning it, isn't there? Could be you. Could be you. Um, yeah, so these grapes are probably over ready to be taken out. So they're coming out today, those. And we'll see what we can do with them. Maybe make some jam or something if possible with them. We'll have a look through and see how we're fixed. And um, we're going to get something out of them, definitely, I'm saying today. But yeah, these are the Christmas potatoes. I think that the the, the, the Maris are going to be the only ones I think that we're going to get anything out of. So I've moved them into the greenhouse now so they're not getting so saturated with the water. And hopefully that's going to do them some good. Everything else needs, it all needs clearing out and sorting. But we'll do it, we'll get there. Nil desperandum. You've got to crack on, haven't you? You've got to crack on. So I'm going to do some harvesting now. I'm not going to be bothered again. I can't really do the do the weeding. I've tried a bit of it now, but I can't do so much in this weather. It's, it's awful weather. Looking around the plots, everybody home, 90% of the people are in the same position that I am. Uh, everything's looking overgrown and, and weedy. Simply because we've not had the chance to come down and do any decent work down here um, because of weather restrictions.
But life gives you lemons, so you make lemonade. At least we're going to make some, so probably some wine. Nah, not wine. Grape jam. Something like that out of them. I'll just eat them. With them being real live, honest to goodness uh, grapes, these, they've got seeds in them. But you can always spit the seeds out. I've tried a couple of them. They're nice. They're all right. They're quite sweet. And juicy, so they're not uh, they're not bad. They're good grapes. So we're going to take some of them off. Uh, yeah. So like I say, um, I'm guessing that most of us, especially in this neck of the woods, have been uh, suffering the same issues with the weather, the constant rain and cold. Not particularly freezing cold, but miserable weather, rubbish weather. So uh, we've got some time off in a, about two or three weeks uh, in. Uh, late October uh, where we've got a week off so me and me and the lady farmer are going to spend three days down here sorting things out at the moment no point no point even trying at the, at the minute I don't think you've got to live your life as well as uh, look after your plots and that's where we're up to so yeah well, we'll see you later on uh, have a good week if I don't see you through the week I'll see you through the window this is Guru Mafinda signing out and I'll look at the, I'll give you another glimpse of the fallen Eden. See you later, boys and girls. Shut up.